All right, and we're back. For the fourth and final wheel spin of the day, what are we gonna hit? It's Grease Fang. All right, we've once again joined the dark side. So this is Grease Fang, a deck that's built on bull. You mill yourself with either Vessel of Nascency, Grizzly Salvage, or Wither Bloom Command, or discard with Rafine's Informant to hopefully try to get Parhelion into your graveyard. And then turn three, you get Grease Fang back, and then you deal 13 flying damage in the air to your opponent, leaving behind two 4-4 four, four Angels, which almost certainly kills your opponent. And the only possible answers they have to this are either Instant Speed Removal for Grease Fang, which there's not that many actually good ones in the format, or Graveyard Hate, also at Instant Speed. And you have other vehicles that you can get back, Eska's Chariot and Sky Sovereign, which are also just decent threats on their own in the format. This version has four Thoughtseize, two Duress, two Traverse the Elvenwald, one Collective Brutality, one Liliana. There's different variations of the deck. Some play more or less copies of any of these cards and maybe not any specific one or different ones than this version does, but this is the typical core package of the deck. Abzan Mana Base, including two Mana Confluences, one Beseju, and one Takanuma. Sideboard contains two Temp Lockdown, three Fatal Push, Raven, one Fairy of Enfeeblement, and two Go for the Throat for Aggro decks, two Lilianas, two Shieldreds, one Knight of Autumn, and two Unlicensed Hearse. So let's jump into the fourth league of the day with Grease Fang. Man, that Just Guy Ascendancy deck was so fun to play. If Nykthos gets banned, I'm going to switch to that. I think it's because... There's so many decision points to be made and they and your decisions actually matter. You it's like a puzzle that you have to put together. You have the potential to win at any point in the game even from an empty board. You have to be smart about what you're doing. You have lots of different decisions to make every turn, like lots of potential things that you can do. Which creature do you play? Do you fill up your graveyard with mill for a treasure cruise via Emery? Do you play Rona instead? How many times do you loot? Can you go for a retraction helix now or later? Do you unearth Mishra's research desk? Do you activate it? What card do you choose with it? So many decisions. All right, we're on the play in round number one with Grease Fang. We have a Thought Seize, and then we have two Chariots and nothing else. Hmm, that seems too slow. We also don't even have white mana for even if we draw Grease Fang. All right, let's mull. All right, that's better. Keep that and put in... I guess I can Thought Seize myself and discard Parhelion. Yeah, that's probably what I'm doing. Turn one Thought Seize myself. What am I putting back then? Chariot? Obviously this can go very wrong depending on what it is our opponent's doing, but seems like the best move to me. Thought sees me, discard Parhelion. Go ahead. Opponent is a Gigantha deck. Boulderloft Pathway Skrelve. All right, I have no clue what this is. Play the green side, go. Brushland, Light Paws. Okay, so it's Boggles, gotcha. Well, I think this plan's gonna be good enough against Boggles. Take one from Skrelv, end of turn, play Grizzly Salvage, Grease Fang, back to me. Do I have to stop in my beginning of combat step for this to work? I think I do, right? So Grease Fang, combat, trigger, get Parhelion back, then crew it, and attack with the Parhelion. Opponent takes 13, and I leave behind two Angel Tokens. So the only way that they can get out of this is they have to have a lifelink aura, and it has to... Like, I don't think there's any way that they can get out of it. Temple Garden shocked. Audacity. Grabbing Ethereal Armor. All right. And all that glitters. Wow. Okay. This is quite the turn three from them. So they can't grab another armor. So what do they grab instead? I don't think there's a one mana lifelink thing in Pioneer. Rune of Sustenance. I guess there is. All right. Because it's two, they, you, they can get another thing that's two. But I don't think even that's going to matter. Because then they go to 18, and then we attack for even more than that. So we're fiends, and we ditch Parhelion and bring it back. All right, yeah. Sideboarding. I guess we want Knight of Autumn. We definitely want Temp Lockdown. Um, well, we didn't see any Hexproof creatures from them that game, but they certainly could have them. Uh, Liliana is actually really good, right? Yeah, Liliana. Just force you to sack your guy. And then let's see. Other stuff is too slow, so... Probably just cutting, like, most of this stuff. Hmm. Collective Brutality seems pretty bad. So that leaves me with, what, Raven Feeblement to kill their white creatures for one mana? Or just Fatal Push them? Yeah? Something like that? All right, submit. Game two on the draw versus Boggles. Uh, only one land. It's not even black. That's a mole. All right, that's a definite keep. So let's bin the Temple Garden. Brushland, Glade Cover. All right, so play a tapped Overgrown Tomb. 
Oh no, I need to play Vessel of Nascency right now. So yeah, shock this in, play Vessel of Nascency, and go. And then even if they equip a bunch of stuff to it, I can Witherbloom command some of the enchantments, and then I can Liliana to kill the Glade cover. And Fatal Push can handle any other creature they play. Commune with Spirits, reveals Brushland, plays Brushland, Ethereal Armor, go to 16. Hmm, so I can just hold up Fatal Push for any other creature they play and then play Liliana. Let's do that. Back to them. Audacity, and then they're going to combat. Swing, we take five, go to 11, play Skrelv. All right, so Skrelv, and then we push Skrelv, then untap, play Dark Boar, play Liliana, and take this. Edict, they draw a card off Audacity, and then it's back to them. Sram, Ethereal Armor, draw a card. Sure, all right, so I can just kill it with Witherbloom Command. So Witherbloom, I guess I'm gonna plus Liliana first, right? So let's go... Thought Seize, then plus the Liana, then Wither Bloom eat this guy. Thought Seize the opponent. All right, take all that glitters. Then plus this card, Dark Boar. Sentinel Eyes. All right, cast this. Destroy target. Oh, it's non-creature permanent. All right, well, I get to hit Ethereal Armor at least. So non-creature, mill. So player mills, destroy Ethereal Armor. Green and black. Let's get Takanuma, and then play this tapped back to the opponent. They do get to attack Liliana, so... Attack Liliana, Liliana dies. They have Sentinel Eyes in their hand and one unknown card. Sentinel Eyes, trigger. All that glitter is another trigger. It's a 5-5. Five, five. It's pretty rough. So is my move here just tank a bunch of more damage and then Takanuma back Liliana and kill their and then hopefully kill their guy next turn? I guess that's what I'm doing. So the other alternative is to go Vessel, try to find an artif try to find Grease Fang plus a vehicle. I think it's better to just Takanuma. Hopefully they don't have more auras, although they probably do. All right, pass the turn. Audacity, that's one away from killing us. So any other aura kills us. Yep, we're dead. All right, let's concede that. What would I have hit instead if I had vesseled? So I would have gone Perhelion, Rafine's Informant, and then still died. Yeah, all right. Um, well, now that I know they're also playing SRAM, that's a lot of non-hexproof creatures. So I'm way more inclined to play more removal. Sky Sovereign's better than I gave it credit for then. Is Knight of Autumn even good picking off one aura? That doesn't even actually seem very good. I guess the fact that I can traverse for it is somewhat relevant. Hmm, let's do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to dilute my combo this much, but I feel like as long as I can kill their guys, we're good. Ray plus this plus Grease Fang. We're missing a White Land. This is keepable. Second White Land would have been a lot better, but what can you do? All right, Shock, Play Vessel. Go ahead. Razor Bridge Thicket into Glade Cover. Hmm. All right. Play this. Go. And then we have to Vessel for something pretty good. Cartouche. He makes it Liliana proof. I can Ray this if I want to. Shock this in. Ethereal Armor. All right. We're on a very quick clock here. Take four. Go to 14. Pop Vessel. Parhelion in the Graveyard. We found Mana Confluence. So, all right. What a hit. Oh, hey, Cheese Thing. Yeah. All right. White, black, whatever, Grease Fang, combat, get Parhelion back, and they've just conceded to that. All right then, on to round number two. 99.9% .9 RNG the deck. Hey, I had, to, I had to choose to sack my vessel there, right? So I made, I technically made decisions. I made three whole decisions that match, or no, four whole decisions. The first one was keeping the hand. The second one was playing vessel on turn one. The third one was cracking vessel on turn two, and then the third Fourth decision was playing Grease Fang. All right, we're on the play. Uh, we don't have black mana, which means this hand sucks. Although I can technically, I can go Rafine, Connive, into, Connive, discard an artifact. So it's not the worst hand, but it obviously could be a lot better. I will keep. The best part of Grease Fang is not only can they Thought Seize to stop interaction, they can also use it to force out their own Parhelion. Yeah, I did that in game one. So Razor Verge, go. Ooh, there's black. All right, so play this. They played Castle Lockdwain, so let's just go Rafine's Informant, Connive, discarding Sky Sovereign, because I'm more likely to just play Chariot, and pass. Drown Yard Temple. So this is the Waste Knot deck. All right, Blooming Marsh, Combat Attack with Rafine's Informant. Swing. They take three. Let's, th let's just Thought Seize them. Opponent clings to Dust the Sky Sovereign. Sure. Thoughtseize. Lily, Lily, Shieldred, Meat Hook Massacre, Turgrid, Waste Knot. They also didn't bother to Waste Knot on turn two, I guess because they needed to protect themselves from Grease Fang, maybe. They actually don't have a second black source. Huh. What card here is the hardest for me to beat? I can beat two Lilianas. Meat Hook Massacre is just a one and done. 
I guess the Meat Hook Massacre is the best at stopping us from having Essica's Chariot matter. Although Shieldred's also just a giant wall. Let's take Shieldred. And then Rafine's Informant. Do I have Rafine's Informant or just Witherbloom? Nah, Rafine's Informant. Connive Trigger, Discard, Mana Confluence, and then back to them. Well, there's their tapped second black source. So now Meat Hook Massacre just annihilates my board. So even if I Essica's Chariot, it doesn't matter. So let's just go Witherbloom, kill this, mill myself. Cast this on destroy a thing, mill. Target me, blow this up. All right, getting back a Mana Confluence, I guess. And then I'll just play Dark Boar, combat, swing with the team. So hopefully they just go Meat Hook here, and then I untap, play Chariot, and then they have double Liliana to get through this. So yeah, Meat Hook, these die. So back to us. I can't collect a Brutality, any of these out of their hand. So let's just go Land, Chariot, then over to the opponent. If they Liliana, which I assume is what they're going to do, do I Cruise Chariot in response? I guess probably yes, right? Thoughtseize, take Collective Brutality. Because then that leaves me with two cats. I kill Liliana, and then even if they play another... Oh, all right. Well, Fatal Push it is. This triggers. I guess I'm just going to yield to this always. All right, so back to us. Draw a creature. Green Vessel. Crack the Vessel. Wow, that's awful. All right. Just the, I guess just to get another vessel then. And then play Mana Confluence, play the other vessel, and then just attack with this cat. All right, back to them. I don't have any vehicles in my graveyard, right? There's Liliana number one. Yeah, I don't have any. Grease Fang with no vehicles in my graveyard. So if I Grease Fang right now, I crew, kill Liliana, then they just play another Liliana and eat the Grease Fang. I can do both, so let's pop vessel first. So green, white. Pop Vessel. What do we hit? There's Parhelion. And there's another Grease Fang. So take Grease Fang. Play Grease Fang. Yep. Riveting stuff. All right. Waste Not Dot Deck. What are we bringing in? They don't really play that many creatures of their own. The creature they do play is like Shieldred. Maybe they'll play Graveyard Trespasser here. So we want ways of killing their guys that don't hurt us. So Liliana. Maybe Night of Autumn to blow up Waste Not. Shieldred as a bomb. And then my own go for the throats to kill their shieldreds. And then cutting what? Brutality is pretty bad. Sky Sovereign kills Lily, but doesn't really do anything else. So we can cut two of those at least. What does Witherbloom kill? It kills Waste Knot. If they're playing Bank Buster, it kills that. That's basically it. Now nah, I'm not interested in Knight. Let's not play Knight. And then Witherbloom can probably just go. All right, let's run that. Uh, this is fine. Keep Leyline of the Void. Hmm. Pithing Needle. On what? The Seiju, probably? Essica's Chariot. Sure. Do I traverse? I guess I traverse for a basic, since this is here. So, traverse for a Swamp. Go ahead. Second Land. Waste Knot. Here's Liliana, which is really bad with Waste Knot. So, Concealed Courtyard, and then just go. Field of Ruin. Go blank. Let's Grizzly in response, because I know I'm going to do that. Grease Fang is a creature, so... All right, take Grease Fang, and then what am I ditching here? Probably the boat, and Liliana is so bad against Waste Knot, but I kind of need it against Shieldred. Let's, take, let's cut Go for the Throat, which also kills Shieldred, but I can potentially just empty my hand. All right, yeah, we discard stuff, even if it's getting exiled. Well, there's Eska's Chariot, so play this. Play Grease Fang. Go ahead. Another land. Liliana, eat our guy, sure. All right, I guess I just play Essica's Chariot. And then they force us to discard. We discard a, a thing that makes them draw. Go blank. All right, well, bye-bye. Draw two more cards. Then Liliana, discard. We draw, they draw another card. Mm-hmm. This is really good against us. Mutavolt. All right, go to combat and just attack Lily with both the cats. Animated Mutavolt to block one of them? Sure. Play another Chariot, I guess. All right, back to them. And we're zero cards to their five cards. Shieldred. Yep. Well, I can at least arrest them, I guess. Go for the throw, and they have Kalidus in hand. All right, pass it back. What would what could I draw here? I basically have to draw back-to-back -back removal spells to kill both of their guys. Kalidus. All right, there's no way I can win this game. So apparently I need to leave all these Wither Blooms in, and I need to leave this in to kill uh, Leyline. Fatal Push can kill Shieldred, but I have to have Revolt on, which means Sacking Vessel... Mostly just sacking Vessel, right? Like, it's kind of hard to get Revolt. Nah, two go for the throats plus Lily should be enough. So I guess the only question is, what am I binning? 
Like I can't warp my entire sideboard plan around whether they have a turn one ley line or not, but I do need a way to get rid of it. So chair, so the knight has to be in here. Boat just seems like all kinds of bad. Is traverse not good? If they have a ley line, I can't traverse for the knight. I guess let's do that. All right, submit. Uh, okay, this is good. Keep. So I get to go back to back hand disruption into a vessel duress. All right, let's take. Um, Liliana, and then try to Thoughtseize, go for the throat next, or go blank next turn. Hive, back to us, Thoughtseize. And it's thought, yeah, Thoughtseize has got to be correct here, right? No, it can't be. I guess it's more mana efficient than Grizzly Salvage, because they don't have go blank anyway. So yeah, it's more efficient to use Grizzly Salvage and then Thoughtseize next turn. So pass it back to them. Another Hive. All right, Grizzly, green, black. We milled over a Chariot. Let's grab Blooming Marsh as our land. Blooming... Now thought sees them to take the go blank. All right, take go blank and then play vessel and pass. Gyre reach. All right, back to us. So I don't have the mana for Grease Fang even if I do this now. So let's just go. I guess I have the mana for Rafine's Informant if I hit it. So green, black, Grizzly. Well, there's Grease Fang and then pass. So I get Parhelion next turn if they don't have a way to stop it. Swamp. As far as I can tell, they don't have a way to revolt. Pop Vessel. Liliana is a viable choice. Also Beseju, but, or, and also Takanuma. What's the worst case scenario? I play Grease Fang, they have a removal spell for it, they untap and slam Shieldred, and then I don't have an answer to that, so it should be Liliana. All right. All right, let's go for Grease Fang. Attempt to go to combat. Trigger. Let's just grab Chariot. And, and again, I don't think they have a way to kill Grease Fang, but they would have used it before, right? They, they would have definitely used it before. All right, grab Parhelion. Like, what if I just targeted the the chariot, right? Yeah. Combat, swing. Hit you for 13, go to 7, still have lethal. So push one of the angels. Hit for 9, go to 11. Activate Gyre Reach. I'm discarding this Parhelion. They discarded Drowned. Extinction Event. Okay, Grease Fang gets gone. There's Chariot. So let's go... I can't play everything I want to this turn. It's almost certainly correct to use Thoughtseize here. All right, combat, attack with the angel. Go to seven, thought sees them. Turgrid and another extinction event. So, all right, take Turgrid. And then let's just play Knight of Autumn with counters. Two counters. Back to them. So two different four power creatures and they can only sweep one of them. And the more tempting one to do is obviously to hit the angel. And then we get to resolve Essica's chariot. Needle, needling chariot. Sure. Well, we're going to play it anyway. And then go to a combat, swing. So lethal board. And extinction event, a third extinction event wouldn't even kill this. I can Grease Fang and Grease Fang back for Helion again. All right, so duress the opponent. Go for the throat on Knight. Well, they're still just dead on the board. I guess their plan was going to be animate Hive push. Yeah, all right. So we won on to round number three. On the play for round three. Uh, this is fine. So keep this and then shock this in, cast Thought Seize. All right, it's Spirits. So... What am I taking? I don't particularly care if they play Rattle Chains or Spectral Sailor. So Spell Queller? Spell Queller is like the only thing that actually disrupts the plan here. All right, take Spell Queller. Pass back to them. So see Chrome Coast, hold up Spectral Sailor. All right, so let's go Shock, play Rafine's Informant. Taking a lot of damage from our lands, unfortunately. Trigger, Connive, Away, the Sky Sovereign. Wow, we drew Grease Fang. All right, back to the opponent. Spectral Sailor. And they attack, we go to 13. All right, we didn't draw a land, so I can instead go Traverse and then play what? Am I playing Rafines or Duress to take Slip out the back? Let's Duress first. I need this to resolve very badly, so if they have like Geist Light Snare, then we should Duress first. Slip out the back on their guy. They have a spell, they drew another Spell Queller. All right, well, now we're kind of screwed. So Traverse, go grab a Swamp, play Swamp, attack with Rafines Informant. Yep, so now they hit us, and then they can just hold both of these open, so it doesn't matter what we play. All right, so if I Liliana here, then they're going to Spell Queller that. They're going to have to Spell Queller this, and then we can Grease Fang next turn. Mm -hmm. And then go to combat, swing with Rafine's Inform. Plays Hallowed Fountain, shocking it in. And we take four here, go to seven. Thought Seize, which we can't wait on, so we're just going to play Grease Fang. Go to combat, trigger, get back Sky Sovereign. And then I have to force them to potentially use Rattle Chains on the thing I actually want to kill. So target the Sailor. And then if they flash Rattle Chains in to save it, then we get to kill Queller. Rattle Chains. Mm -hmm. So I guess they have, what, another Rattle Chains? 
screw this and go to combat swing swing trigger target this what the nut what a nut draw what an absolute nut draw and then we're dead on the back swing insanity all right okay um temp lockdown push go for the throat liliana what's bad this seems pretty slow actually hang on duress is mostly bad i think Rafine's informant is also i can't race them with it collective brutality same deal well, no, I can have excess vehicles in my hand that I don't want. I guess that's where Liliana comes in. So let's see. One of these, one of these. Like sorcery speed removal against rattle chains dot deck is bad. Raven Feeblement kills Spell Queller and some of their X ones, right? Yeah, all right. So we should bring this in. All right, let's do that. Submit. We, I guess we do have green mana. All right, so keep this. Concealed Courtyard, go. All right, back to us. Play this. And I guess I just Wither Bloom Command now. Which one am I choosing first? I'm choosing the mill, right? Mill, life, get back, concealed, or razor. I guess I don't want more black yet. Concealed. And go. They're going to run out a main phase thing? All right. Don't have a vehicle for this, but we have Liliana. So minus, kill your phantom, pass. So the next turn, I can go discard Parhelion Grease Fang. Invasion of Gobokan. All right. So now they will take Grease Fang or Parhelion, one of those. I guess it has to be Grease Fang, right? Because otherwise I just discard Essica's Chariot. Yeah. All right. Plus, discard Parhelion. Opponent discards Geist Light. Let's play Chariot. All right, they've conceded to that. Pretty sure I leave this as is. All right, run it back. On the draw, this is fine. Keep this. All right, Swamp and go. Another land. I'm just going to keep passing it back to us. All right. I'm actually out of basics, so the Traverse doesn't do anything. All right, well, play that tapped and go. Rattle Chains. I guess I kill this now. Yeah, kill it now so that they can't go, like, Curious plus Protection. Using Fatal Push because Ray kills uh, Spell Queller. All right, well, I can't just keep doing nothing every turn, so... Hmm. Maybe it's better to, to play Grease Fang when I have one mana up still. Yeah, so let's pass. I, the fact that they're not doing anything on their turn tells me they probably have, like, a Curious Obsession draw. Let's just keep passing it back to them, and then on our turn, we'll go Grease Fang, hold up Ray. All right, back to us. So, land, play Grease Fang. Opponent Spell Quellers. And if they have slip out the back, they have slip out the back. All right, try to kill this. Trigger, recast, grease thing. All right, back to them. Another land, back to us. So let's cast Essica's Chariot pre-combat. And then if they counter it with anything but Spell Queller, we get to res it. Chariot, resolves. All right, go to combat. Swing with grease thing. Play the courtyard, go. End step, opponent is paying four. Odawara's grease thing back to our hand. All right, I guess they just don't have anything. All right. On to round number four. So I'm sorry, what was that, Ocean Rain? What was that you were saying in the chat? Man, the egg on your face right now. It's all in good fun. On the play, round four, we have... Hmm, vessel with no action. I mean, okay, so it's like turn one vessel, try to find something. Yeah, fine, whatever. It's Grease Fang, who cares? Shock this in, play vessel. Back to the opponent. Plane. All right, humans. Witherbloom command. All right, let's murder that right now. So... Witherbloom, mill plus, get minus three, minus one. Me, you. Kill that. We milled over Thoughtseize, Traverse, and a land. Back to the opponent. Plains, Thales, Lieutenant. All right. Grizzly, Salvage. So let's play this tapped and pass. Coppercoat triggers Thales, Lieutenant, and Hopeful Initiate. Opponent attacks for four. Go to 14, then let's cast Grizzly on end step. We milled Grease Fang. We did not mill a vehicle. Another Parhelion. All right. Well, Grease Fang can maybe block, but if I play it now, that exposes it to Brutal Cathar. Is Adeline lethal? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? No, it's not. So I need to Vessel and then maybe find a Rafine's Informant and put Parhelion in the yard. All right. Sack Vessel. There's Parhelion. So grab Takanuma. No. Grab... What would I need to possibly besage you from? Yeah, or whatever. To grab Takanuma and play a land and pass. All right. This, oh, and this thing grows and then we can't even get it back, right? Because they can just pop at instant speed. Oh, it's so rough. Sky Sovereign to kill this. And then we're still taking five and losing. If I try to get back for Helion, they just blow it up. Oh, you know, it just has one counter on it, right? It's just getting plus one from Copper Coat. Okay. So Grease Fang, Combat. Trigger, get back Parhelion, then crew. Huh? Don't they have to have two counters? Did they have two counters? I thought they were just getting plus one from the copper coat. 
All right, well, we were gonna lose anyway, so. All right, uh, all the removal. Liliana is also removal. Lockdown. They play ossification, so knight's good. What's bad? Brutal kills a thing. Probably all the hand disruption. Traverse, too slow. What else can go? Brutality is the worst removal spell, although it is still a removal spell. Actually, I don't need Knight because Witherbloom Command blows up Ossify, so as does Temp Lockdown. So that's all fine, and then I need two more cuts. Oh, can you remove counters from anything, not just itself? From among creatures. Oh, I thought it was only itself. What am I cutting? Uh, these are fine blockers. Man, I just don't want to cut anything here. I guess Vessel of Nascency is like the weakest mill card out of all of these because Witherbloom at least kills stuff, so I can cut these ones. All right, let's do that. So on the play, this is fine. Let's go Courtyard, go. Planes, hopeful initiate. All right, Brutal. Target creature gets minus two. Target that. Second land, rip, sure. So Dark Boar, and then let's just play Liliana. And then I'll plus and discard Grizzly. Opponent discards, brave the elements, sure. Back to them. So just out removal the opponent. Thalia's lieutenant, giant killer. All right, minus on you. Uh, go for the throw is the most expensive card. So actually, I, hmm, they do have brave the elements. Oh yeah, right, just kill this. Kill Thalia's lieutenant, back to you. Coppercoat Vanguard. All right, Rave Enfeeblement end step. Then back to us. Hmm. I'm going to discard the land despite the fact that I get Chariot next turn. Because if I draw another land, then I just get to play both. Discard land. Opponent discards Art Castle Ardenvale. All right, so play Grease Fang and pass back to them. Adeline. All right, we can just make them sack that. So sack Adeline. Then combat, attack with Grease Fang. Oh, actually, can I? could I have blown up Rest in Peace right now? What order is this going? No, I mill first and then I blow it up. All right, so let's just pass here. Thalia's Lieutenant. All right, so Wither Bloom. Target creature gets minus, destroy, cast. Non-creature, creature, green, black. So do that. Okay, won that one. Then on to game three, and then I'm pretty sure everything here is fine. All right, let's run this back. Grease Fang, Parhelion, Grizzly. All right, keep. Planes, Dauntless. All right, this tapped, go. Coppercoat, Vanguard. So the best move is potentially just a Grizzly, but if I don't hit anything, then I'm just taking more damage for no reason. So, I know, I get, no, I just discard Parhelion, right? Yeah, okay. So play this. Collective, cast, minus two, lose. So kill this, drain, play the mon pay the mana, discard Parhelion. And then we Grease Fang next turn. Opponent rips. All right, well, that's that. Giant killer. So now I can't even... Grease thing to block them, but what up? Whatever. What what can you do? All right, so Takanuma can't get anything back from this anyway, so I may as well just not take damage unnecessarily. Play this, right? Yeah. White, black, Grease Fang. Go ahead, opponent. They have another giant killer. Very well. Rafine's Informant and Grizzly Salvage. Hmm. More mana efficient to do it that way. So Rafine's Informant. Connive. Uh, discard, I guess, Mana Confluence. Play land, go. Adeline. Mm-hmm. We're pretty much forced into blocking. Swing, swing. All right. So I need to just block Giant Killer. Then they just play another one. But, like, what can we do? So block that. So they just play this one from Exile. All right. So cast Grizzly Salvage. I don't even know what we can get. Apparently nothing. So grab a land. Drawn Diddly. Are we just dead? They go attack. They make another guy. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. We survive at one. All right, pass. We survive at one, and then how do I even survive the next turn? All right, never mind. We don't survive. All right, that is that. On to round number five. All right, we're on the draw for the fifth and final round. We have pretty good stuff going on here. Grizzlies with Grease Fang. Opponents on a Giganta deck. Fabled Passage. All right, so it's fires, presumably. All right, turn one, Thoughtseize. Huh. All right. Two Blood Tithes and a bunch of land. So Stomping Ground, play Blood Tithe. And then, all right, well... Play this and then just pass with Grizzly. Opponent attacks with Blood Tithe. We go to 14. Forest. Gigant in hand. All right. Grizzly salvage. Did not hit a vehicle. So let's grab a land. Another Grease Fang. So, hmm. The best move is still probably to just Grizzly salvage again and try to hit. Do I have, de do I have uh, Delirium? No, I don't. I'm one short. Hmm. Play land. I guess the most mana efficient play is to just run out Grease Fang and then try to hit next turn. Pass back to them. Fable Passage. Attack, no blocks. No plays from them. All right. 
Grizzly Salvage. There's Parhelion. So yeah, um, let's grab a land or Rafine's, in Rafine's Informant probably actually. Now I need to, I want to play a land this turn. So grab the land and then we will try to enter combat. All right, you get back Parhelion. Opponent fetches in response, grabs planes. They have Leyline Binding, yeah. Can I choose not to bring this back? No, I can't. All right, so it's gonna bounce back to my hand, play this, and then let's traverse for Rafine's Informant so I can discard next turn. So yeah, I grab Rafine's and then over to them. So if I draw a fifth untapped land, I can immediately discard and Grease Fang it back. Otherwise, I have to just Rafine's to discard and then I'm also taking a substantial amount of damage from here. All right, well, Rafine's Informant, Connive Trigger. That's not a land that comes in untapped, so let's discard Parhelion, then play this. Do I want to Traverse for anything? Presumably, yes. Traverse. I can get Beseju to kill this, maybe. Although I have more Grease Fangs. All right, get Beseju, and then pass it back to them. Opponent cycles the Ketria. So now I get to go Grease Fang, and then even if they kill it... All right, Chain to the Rocks. We go to two. Do you have Bone Crusher? No. All right, Grease Fang. Go to my combat. Trigger targeting Parhelion. Cling to dust on Parhelion. Yep. All right. It is clung. No resolution of the trigger. Play a land. Go. What is this deck? It looks like BTL, but like the mana is not set up for that. Swing. We block them. They can just play Gigantha now, and then we don't have any answer for it. No, they're going to play Fable. All right. Tap land. Chariot's also pretty good, but let's just play Sky Sovereign. Sky Sovereign, kill your Shaman token, and then pass. And then it's their turn. They get to discard. So as long as they have this cling to dust around, I can never guarantee... They're discarding Gigantha, really, and Blood Tithe, despite the fact that those are both lethal creatures. Witherbloom Command can blow up Chained, and then they can just cling again. Hmm. All right, let's go Witherbloom, destroy Drain, blow up Chained to the Rocks, and Drain you. Trigger Rafine's Informant, discarding Parhelion. And then we play Grease Fang. So Grease Fang, they obviously cling it, but that's fine. Target Parhelion. Opponent escapes cling. Yeah, so Crew Sky Sovereign. I guess this one's the worst blocker. All right, ability fizzles, and then we get to attack with Sky Sovereign. How in the world do you have an answer to this? Heartless Act, sure. What is, what is this deck? Heartless Act, sure. And they can potentially cling again. They do need to get more cards in their yard. Thought sees us very well. So Liliana goes away and then, no, oh, they took Essica's chariot, sure. They need one more card to cling. I'm of the opinion Grease Fang should be banned out and I'm not sure why it was even made in the first place. Go, oh, come on, seriously? All right, I guess I besage you the reflection then. All right, hit that. If I'm gonna lose everything anyway, may as well kill this thing. It doesn't do anything in its own limited format and Neo vehicles fl flopped overall. I refuse to believe the Testers resolved a Grease Fang in Standard or Limited and were satisfied with its results, then assumed it would just be fine in Pioneer. It's not even a good Commander card either. I think the deck should be called Screw You in quotes. Yep. Opponent still has three cards and they can rummage with the blood. There's a land, so we just go to combat and attack them. Swing, swing. And you have a Leyline Binding. Okay. Mm-hmm. So hit with Rafine's Informant. I guess I'm going to keep this land in case I draw another Rafine's Informant and don't want to discard the whatever I draw off of it. Rummage with the blood, discard a land. All right, six mana, Atraxa, sure. All right, we lose. Omnath, Atraxa, Fatal Push, Thoughtseize, yeah. Well, all we drew is a land, so that's the game. All right, so let's see, Knight of Autumn for the Ley Lines. What else? I guess if they resolve an Atraxa or an Omnath, I need to be able to kill it. Liliana, Collective Brutality's bad. Sky Sovereign doesn't really kill anything in their deck aside from the Fable stuff, at least it seems. I guess, no, it kills Blood Tithe because they're also playing Blood Tithe. It's less useful than it normally is. So let's cut one of them. This hits Chain to the Rocks. Shave on one of these. Shave on one of these. Oh, what else? Shave a Traverse, maybe? Is that fine? All right. So on the play. I remember when what Atraxa does would be something you'd achieve after a cool combo or something. Big creature drawing a bunch of cards. Used to be something cool you'd show your friends. Now it's just another standard mythic. I don't have Black Mana. I do have Vessel. Find Black Mana. Hmm. All right, keep. Shock this in, play Vessel, go. Fiend's Tower tapped. All right, there's Black. So just play Takanuma and pass. Black, Thoughtseize, sure. So prob so one of these two, or maybe Asuka's Chariot, I don't know. Probably just one of these two. No, they did take Chariot. 
All right. Do they not have another land? No, they do. People got to stop doing the second main phase BS. All right. Well, Grease Fang is the best thing for us to hit. So let's take Grease Fang. I can play Grease Fang and then try to go off next turn. I can also just play Leyline Binding. There's never an opportunity where that's not going to be the case. So let's just play Grease Fang. And then I get Chariot back. What do they have? Cling to Dust again. Jesus. This can only be like a one of in their deck, probably. And they just have it every time. All right, Cling to Dust is never more than like a two of at most. All right, what am I doing next turn? Milling and hoping to randomly hit something. Island. All right, discard Parhelion. So Rafine's Informant, trigger, discard Parhelion. Attempt to go to combat, trigger, target this. Crew, this is four, right? Yeah, crew, go to combat. All right, apparently they didn't have an answer. I expected Leyline Binding given the mana they were holding up, but I guess not. Hmm. I'm going to cut a boat and put another Rafine back in and then run that. All right, final game. This is what it all comes down to. No green mana, but do have thought seizing to Rafines. All right, keep. Watery Grave shocked in. All right, that means they're thought seizing us or duressing us. So then they take our thought seize. Not really sure why they would take anything but thought. Yeah, okay, they take thought seize. Back to us. All right, well, we drew a duress, so duress you. Thought seize, cling, fable. I guess we just take fable. Yeah, take fable. Play... And then we've already played our land. All right, back to them. There's an argument to maybe taking Thought Seize because now they can Thought Seize the Rafines out of our hand and then we can't fix as well. There's also an argument to take Cling to Dust since they're low on lands anyway. I feel like there's no way we're going to kill them before they get to Fable Mana, so let's just take Fable. All right, land go. I'm amazed they didn't fetch there. All right, they're bricking on lands as well. We're also bricking on lands, so back to them. So they could just Cling something, right? And then... Draw a card, but they're just not going to because they're holding it for a vehicle. All right, riveting gameplay from this side. Can't do anything. Back to you. All right, we've both bricked on lands for like three turns in a row. All right, we stopped bricking. So shock this in. It's probably correct to just slam Lily. I don't know what I discard though, because anything I discard, they're going to cling. So I'm going to get rid of go for the throat. Discarded Atraxa. All right, back to you, opponent. How are they just not using cling? They're missing on lands. They've got to draw lands. All right, plus I'm going to discard Traverse, I think. Or is it just Vessel? Maybe it's just Vessel. The, the Grease Fang plan just doesn't work as long as they have this. So it's probably correct to just abandon that plan. Discard Vessel. They discard another Atraxa. All right, shock this in, play Chariot. Yeah, so now they're going to cling. Cling our Vessel. They really should have just done that a long time ago. Like, yeah, obviously they can get killed by Parhelion, but... They needed to have drawn lands way before now. If they have Fatal Push, they can fetch Fatal Push the Chariot plus Liliana. I'll discard the other Liliana. Enigmatic. So they are they are a Fires deck, or maybe not Fires. Anyway, uh, crew this. Crew the Chariot. Attempt to go to combat. Yep, they have Fatal Push. Fatal Push our Chariot. All right, so I can Traverse for Grease Fang now, or I can just Traverse to grab another land and then play Sky Sovereign next turn. Oh, what if they have a sweeper? So many ways this can go wrong. I didn't board in Shieldred, so I guess I, have to, I can't play Scared. I have to just play as though they don't have it. So Traverse with Delirium, grabbing Grease Fang, and then just don't play the Grease Fang and play it next turn. So that if they do have a sweeper, we just Grease Fang back Chariot. Of course, if they just play a fourth land, then they have Cling to Dust open. They just didn't have a fourth land. All right. Plus Liliana. Discard Sky Sovereign. Opponent discards Blood Tithe. All right. Play Grease Fang. Go to combat, question mark. Black and green, Heartless Act, sure. Attack with the cats. Back to the opponent. Bricking hard on lands over there, I see. Leyline binding on Lily, presumably. Yep. All right, play another Grease Fang. Uh, what, they have blue mana? So let's just play a land first. Play Grease Fang. Attempt to go to combat. Trigger, target, chariot. All right, we got it. Four and one with Grease Fang. So uh, yeah, that's Grease Fang. I don't know what more there is to say about it. I know there were sometimes versions that played Eldritch Evolution, which is maybe a thing you could do, but this seems to be pretty stock nowadays. So um, yeah, that's it. Pretty much coin flips the matchup.